Welcome back to Seeing Blind. My name is Cindy and today I'm going to be sharing my holiday gift guide. Really, it's a list that hopefully you can refer to throughout the year so you'll want to save and bookmark this video. It's a list that is going to give you some great gift ideas and inspiration so that you're given the perfect accessible gift because all of these items are going to be geared more towards disabled life with an emphasis of low vision and blindness. Remember guys, hit those good YouTube buttons for me down below. Expand the description box. It's going to have the complete list of all the items I'm going to discuss today, including clickable links that will hopefully help your shopping experience go by smoother, faster, and easier. And for more ideas, if you don't find one in this video, you can check out my Amazon storefront where there's going to be lots of things that you could explore. First out of the gate, let's go ahead and talk about gift cards and memberships and things like that. Now, I know there's nothing too unique about this. However, these can really go a long way in a disabled person's life and just making it easier. So many times we just don't have access on a daily basis to the things that we need, especially if transportation is an issue, maybe chronic pain, maybe they're able one week or not the next. Whatever the situation scenario is, having a membership to things like Instacart, DoorDash, Amazon Prime, Audible for the blind community. Walmart and Target even have their own delivery services. There's tons of memberships that you can get a variety of durations for to fit your budget that offer easy, quick, free shipping or delivery. Don't hesitate. Get these if you feel like it will serve them well and I promise you can't go wrong. This unique gift idea is a portable ice maker machine. It was a surprising winner for our family and I highly recommend it. It's compact and you can plug this thing in anywhere. You need convenient access to ice in about six to eight minutes. It releases about nine cubes at a time. And for what it is, it's also pretty quiet. It's no louder than a dishwasher. It has two tactile buttons on the top. The left is on off. The right you use to select your ice size, small or large. And guys, this is that really good munchy ice. It's kind of hollow inside, sort of like ice chips. It's just really good to munch on. Comes with a scooper. And when you're ready to turn the machine off, all the water will drain back into the reservoir, including the ice you don't use. And it's ready to turn on and go when you need ice. Don't worry if you don't like the fire engine red color. There's also other color options. An easy universal option are coffee mugs and can coolers. Yeti's great. This tall red one is a wonderful accessible option for unsteady hands. On the end, a small business makes these great can coolers that are universal and adapt to various size beverages and such. These add another layer of accessibility that I've talked about in previous content. Let's continue this kitchen category with this little mini waffle maker. Y'all, at about 10 bucks, give or take, this thing is so small, compact, and easy. There's no buttons or anything. You plug it in to turn it on, you unplug it to turn it off. The waffles are about the size of the Eggo brand ones that are frozen, so really a perfect universal size. And you can pair this with your favorite pancake mix. I personally love the Kodiak protein ones and an olive oil, or I use avocado oil spritzer that you could pair with it. And even these little silicone storage bags that are perfect for storing when you make up a big batch. One of my latest favorite kitchen gift finds is the Soda Stream. This is a carbonated water maker or flavored fizzy drink maker. I love this. And if you're curious, I did a demo and review video on my YouTube channel. So to learn more about that and what I love about it, check out that video. Some more great kitchen gift ideas starts out with this 5.8 Smart Kasoi Air Fryer, which I also did a demo and review video on my YouTube channel, which you can refer to. If they already have an air fryer though, I highly recommend getting accessories like the pizza pan and the silicone liners and all the bundles that go with it. it really helps to level up your cooking. As far as coffee makers go, y'all, I've used a lot and the bun brand is the one I find the most accessible as a blind mom. I highly recommend the bun. They are well worth the price. Last but not least in the kitchen is an electric tea kettle. Pair it with your favorite tea or an assortment and you've got a wonderful, beautiful gift here that will keep on cozy and warm. 
We'll call this next category fun times and entertainment. These are playing cards. You've got large print ones and then these jumbo size ones that I highly recommend for the low vision community. I was also gifted these tactile board games like tic-tac-toe. I have a chess and checkers tactile board and I have a deck of brailled uno cards. If I can find them on Amazon, I'll link them below, but there's also great fun games like bop it's and other ideas down below as well. Moving on to some missing miscellaneous and home gadgets. These I gifted and it was a big hit, so I highly recommend them. They are magnetic rechargeable hand warmers that have a dual purpose of also being a power bank. So it's great for the disability community that is on the go and needs a quick power source. Next up, speaking of people on the go, this is a backpack that has a built-in cooler and chair. Well, really it's a stool. If you or maybe you have some kids that just need to take a break every now and then, this stool really came in handy for us. It'll hold an adult up to about 300 pounds, give or take, and you can store lots of little cold things inside the insulated bag part, and there's lots of pockets and such to keep yourself organized when you're traveling. It's probably not gonna stand the test of time, but if you're on a budget, this is a good go-to gift. Now, everybody loves a really good electric blanket. Of course, I'll link my favorite down below, but I feel heated mattress pads are highly underrated. I love a good heated mattress pad in the winter time, especially. Another favorite gift idea are these silicone wine glasses that do not have stems. I really think these could be great for just daily beverages, honestly. The silicone around them provide excellent accessibility for unsteady or shaky hands or for the low vision community. They also have excellent contrast to them. If uh, you're gifting anyone a good wine bottle, pair it with this. I'm going to jump in here with an item from my wish list. Uh, ever since I've seen this, I've been so stoked about it. It's so luxe and cozy and comfy and I would appreciate it, but my entire family would love this as well. This is a portable bath towel warmer, but you can also use it for blankets and bathrobes and socks and hoodies and all the things that you would just love to warm up and get cozy in. I love that I could put it anywhere. It's not limited to the bathroom. Anyone would love this, especially those who tend to veer on the cold side. I could talk about things that keep me cozy and warm all day, so let's move on. One thing about being low vision is you have to get close to the TV and a good floor chair that's padded that has good back support is a great option. Previously, I mentioned electric blankets. Another great option are the weighted blankets. However, you want to think of the person and not get too heavy of one that can be kind of uncomfortable. I did this and I think I need a lighter one now. This next one is really more of like a, another category, if you will. This is massagers. I feel like these have really come a long way the last five years or so and are a great go-to gift. My first choice in this category is the eye massager. I'll show you a little demo and video of the one that I love and use as I'm describing it to you guys. So this thing, it has Bluetooth, so I love being able to sync a good audiobook or the music that I love while I'm using it, or I can just listen to the built-in music that the device has. You can customize the pressure from soft, medium, or strong. Love the heat in it. It's just next level massaging experience, in my opinion, from all the ones that I've used. If you know anyone that has migraines, headaches, eye strain, stress, fatigue, uh, if they're on screens all day, if they have a stressful job, I mean, really anybody could benefit from this thing. I will caution you though, consider the person you're giving it to if they've had any kind of eye surgeries or any if they have any kind of facial sensitivity, anything like that, this may not be the best choice. Well, this one I was gifted pretty recently and I feel like this is the most common type that you see, at least I see it all over Amazon, but it's like the U type of massaging one that is for your neck and your back. Hopefully you all can kind of see this box that has some of the pictures on it. I've seen two or three different uh, very variations of this type of back massager and some have cords, some don't, some have heat, some don't. I would definitely check the reviews because some are just stellar and some are just eh. You know, you can't go wrong. I still think it's a great gift. If you're really wanting to make sure you give them an excellent one, just make sure you read the reviews. So for example, the one that I have here, I do use it. I do like it. Uh, it has heat, however, the heat seems barely perceivable. Maybe it's operator error, or maybe it's the unit that I have, 
but this one, it's like I can barely feel the heat on it. I love it on my neck, upper neck and upper back. I think it's still a great gift. Otherwise, I wouldn't put it on my gift guide. You just have to kind of put your research hat on, do your due diligence to make sure you're really getting them a good one that's going to wow them. The third one that I uh, recently purchased is a heated foot massager but I haven't unboxed it yet, guys. So I'm gonna be doing an unboxing video here shortly. So subscribe, make sure that you um, turn notifications on so that you can catch my unboxing and review of this heated foot massager. I have high expectations. This is great for anyone who's experienced plantar fasciitis, has poor blood circulation, or just some discomfort in their lower extremities, anything like that. This is really gonna help warm those tootsies up, especially on cold winter nights. This could be a hit or a miss, but I certainly appreciate my diffuser. Pairing this with some essential oils would make a beautiful gift. And there's lots of new styles and models available that are bundled with essential oils already, so I'll link them below. When it comes to jewelry, I used to have a jewelry box and then a jewelry drawer, and neither were the most accessible for me. This jewelry organizer is perfect. I love the system more. It displays all the jewelry in a way that I can feel all the pieces and really get an idea of my inventory and such and what I want to wear for the day. You can pair this with a cute set of earrings or necklace or bracelet and it's a great gift. Nothing says you support them more and disability awareness than gifting them some merch, some swag from their favorite influencers, small business, or adaptive clothing line. I have tons of shirts and mugs and hats and things that I've purchased from small businesses and fellow influencers in the disability community. And if you recommend any, put them in the comments. One of the small businesses I love to support is two blind brothers. They also have star guards. All of the proceeds from their business go to support eye treatments and cures. Finding a gift like this is so special and can really mean a lot to the person you're gifting. Thanks for sticking with me this long. What kind of gift guide would this be if I didn't mention Bluetooth wireless headphones? Everyone has their go-to's recommendations. I'm going to recommend the Apple AirPods. I also have the Beats Flex and LG Tones. When it comes to the Apple AirPods though, there are actually some really cool accessories that I highly recommend. These things are so stinking small. Anytime I have them on, if I'm wanting to put them down, I am probably gonna lose them. These are really teeny tiny. So there's actually lots of accessories that I do recommend. One is this, it is a kind of glow in the dark neck band. It has these little bitty tiny adapters that you can slide your Apple AirPod into. That way you don't lose them. And when you're wanting to put them down, they just dangle just like every other Bluetooth thing. There's lots of different cases for these. If they have AirPods, to go ahead and bling them out with some accessories because most likely, especially if they're in the blind community, this type of accessory is is awesome. Some final gift ideas and thoughts from the disability community would be compression socks or wool, soft fluffy socks. All of these are easy, practical, and useful. Another thing useful is a couch caddy or tray, something that holds beverages, snacks, remotes. This one is self-balancing and has a power bank. It's great for those couch days and when you're not feeling great. If you'd like to do something really nice and go the extra mile, then consider an experience. Something like concert tickets, a day at the spa, massage, getting their hair cut. Things like this are really meaningful. But if transportation is a constant struggle, then bundling this with a ride, offering them transportation, allows them to utilize your special gift in a stress-free way. Finally, for my spoonies out there, a good self-care basket everyone can appreciate. Throw in some of your favorite products and such, a candle, and if you need additional ideas, check out the list below. Friends, I hope you find some good inspiration and ideas in today's video. For more, make sure you're subscribed. I would love to hear some comments down below what your favorite ideas are. Of course, I'm not going to think of everything, so I'd love to hear what you would add to the list as well. There might be some videos popping up on my right and left. If you haven't seen them, you might want to check those out and I'll catch you in the next video. Blessings to you and yours.